question of the day. What is your favorite awoken skill as of right now in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2? Mine is actually right now. Honestly, I can't believe I'm actually saying this given what I said in the past, but my favorite awoken self right now in Xenoverse 2, it's actually Ultra Instinct, given that the latest update updated Ultra Instinct, so it's now actually good. So hello everyone, welcome to the video. Uh, yeah, a really good uh, Ultra Instinct uh, build here in the playing match. Limitations off, I'll go over it later on. A strike slash melee build for Ultra Instinct on Saints. Let me know if you want to see a key version, a whatever version. Okay, first mod number level 120. So we'll also have a different build later on where I have a charge skill on so I can more easily go and use Ultra Instinct. Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! Dusty! <laughs> and this is just going to be rather unfortunate. For Janemba Kun. No, it's not because I, I don't have enough stamina. <laughs> uh, that's a stamina break, is it? No, it's a full power energy wave. Oh, dirty. Oh. <laughs> Tell me why Final Rampage with Ultra Instinct Burkhol just, f it fits so well. Like, am I wrong? Let me know. Like, oh, it's so good. Anyway, G Fuel flavor of the day. We are on that Tokyo Senkai, that Ginyu Force flavor. Cold Cack, it's pineapple, by the way, just pineapple. Rather nice with several ice cubes and ice water. Oh, yes. Cold Cack, CAC on checkout. To save at least 20% off, it may be 30%. It supports the channel. Get some for Sparking Zero. We're all going to need it. Cold Cack, CAC. Oh, yes, sir. I might also use a couple of uh, Liv uh, fights using Livion because I do want to change his form now. I'm happy with what it is, but I do want to really update it. So, again, also let me know in the comments, what should his next form be? I don't... Have I given him Ultra Instinct before? I think I did, but it was when Ultra Instinct was genuinely terrible. Um, <laughs> so I can't quite remember. So I might give him, like, a, like maybe a Legendary Instinct to run. I'll have to wait and see. So fun. So I've just put uh, Divinity Unleash on, just so I can get a bit of key back easier. You have to go for the uh, Awoken. Also, and just for this one fight, because I, I can't believe I'm actually going to say this. In Sparking Zero, I think my favorite stage so far is the World Tournament stage, just because of how, I guess, like the, the stage dynamic destruction, where on that stage, you don't know. If you go for certain attacks, I don't know. It's both supers, I believe, as well as ultimates, but I believe it's random, maybe. I don't know. I hope it's not every single time you go for it for the first time, because that might get old quite quick, maybe. I don't know. But you'll basically, the announcer will get scared, the audience will run away, and then the ex the, um, air, like the area expands. So in Xenoverse terms, you can go all the way to like the back here. You can't really see it. So it's like, I'll take you a bit more seriously. <laughs> Whoops, my bad. <laughs> I imagine if it's going to rage quit now, because it didn't recover. <laughs> He's standing still. Okay, there you go. Okay. Oh.
in case you don't know they changed it to make to fix ultra instinct so firstly when you go for the awoken it doesn't consume five bars of key it just you know you just need it like how you would for super saiyan 3 potential unleash super saiyan blue super saiyan blue evolution any awoken that takes five bars with the exception of course of the beast awoken and you can key cancel while you're in it now and if you charge up the key blast fully it will go for spirit pulse boom every charge up like an intermediate level it'll go for one hit of uh, i didn't do it properly i didn't do it properly either again it'll go for one hit of soaring fist <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying to show it off. <laughs> uh, whatever. And then you can naturally... Okay. Oops. Uh, that's my bad. Oh, come on. And then naturally you can just go and use... Yeah, there you go. And you can just go and use normal key blasts. Oh, okay. I just realized that. Even I've got the Gamma 2 Super Zol, it changes it. Hold on. Is this a glitch? Oh, I'll try it naturally in the next fight. I could have sworn before that I used the You Need to Be More Careful Super Zol. And after the next fight, I'll show the build so you can copy it exactly. I could have sworn that it, it keeps it in when you're in Ultra Instinct. So you have the, the Gamma 2 Key Blast, right? I could have sworn that was the case. We'll try it again. I'll check it out in the following battle. <laughs> Okay, let me just get maximum keys. Picked Venus Mold Omega Shenron now, by the way, which is a bit of a surprise, if I personally and professionally do say so myself. So again, basic key blast there, Gamma 2 uh, key blast. Go for the Awoken. I don't know what I went for the that for, because I had plenty of time. Do you know what? Yeah, okay, maybe it changes it to the, the basic key blast. I could have sworn it changed it to whatever key blast effect you had, on your super soul. Interesting. If I didn't move then to try and realign myself so I was fighting him, that would have activated the auto dodge and I may have got be able to get a perfect on that. Did someone just beep? <laughs> that was loud. Wow, that was really loud. Leave a like on the video if you heard the beep. Okay. <laughs> Have a power ball full of shadow dragon powers. Yeah, okay, fair enough. On the screen right now, you can see everything to recreate this build with this character exactly verbatim as you see it in this video, as well as the character, all that good stuff. Again, Super Soul, again, it's on the screen, or it will be on the screen momentarily. It's from a parallel quest from Hero of Justice Pack 2, the DLC, which is the DLC that added Gamma 1, Gamma 2, to Gamma 2 Super Soul, as well as the DBS transforming Gohan, which is a disappointing character. In my opinion, not exactly bad, but uh, oh, whatever. It just felt like, a, whatever, I don't need to see another verse, what do you expect? Not really sh throwing shade at it, but it's in a verse, <laughs> right? Uh, to make this QQ Bang, as usual, mix the DBZ Bardock top with the Beerus top and use a super mix capsule Z as the mixing item. And eventually you will get this exact QQ Bang. Maybe one slightly better with points in health and or key key damage but yeah a uh, great build really 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 fun build i might keep this i've only got one of this super soul so i want to get a couple of them because as of right now that is the best super soul if you don't know i'll try and show it off in this fight here should i be able to do that where basically once you get your for the first time per match it's got two effects but for the first time per match actually if i can make him break my guard here that'd be brilliant okay i can't do that um you'll get all your stamina recharged once you get your stamina broken. Do you know what? I'm going to let him get me out of all training, but I do want to try to keep him down on very, very low stamina without actually breaking his guard. You'll see the superstar effect if you don't know what it does. It's absolutely broken. It really, really, truly is. Boom. 
Again, let me just, uh... Okay. <laughs> yeah, um, I I'm just gonna stand still for the most part, I think, now, just so it breaks my stamina. Wait for it. Boom. Wait for it. Yeah, again, stamina got instantly recharged. Oh, okay, and that was a bit annoying. So the, the second effect of this Super Soul is that when your opponent goes for the Awoken, goes for an ultimate for the first time in a match, which he just did, it'll also give you a ton of stamina back. However, because he already, like, I already had max stamina, it, did, you, it, did, it didn't recharge anymore because it activated, but it didn't recharge anymore. Again, it's a broken Super Soul, and I am actually shocked. I'm well, not shocked, but I'm surprised that they haven't nerfed it in the latest update. I really am. Final Flash! Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Do you know what? Let's go for a cheeky, random character, then maybe Livion, then let's go and finish off with using this build a bit more to demonstrate it more. So that said, in the comments, do feel free to guess who you think the random character is going to be for the following battle. Do let me know. I do actually love reading the comments, especially when uh, people guess. I, I just love it. <laughs> okay, we got. I'll go away to zero. Uh, my guess is going to be. I'm just going to guess one character because I normally guess Supreme Kai of Time or Kale. Let's stick to the Supreme Kai of Time. We just had to on the loading screen. I think you would have seen that. Again, you got just over 10 seconds left as of right now. In the comments, do guess who you think the random character is going to be. You got a few seconds left because it's going to be. Oh, Crumbosh himself. Or. I don't know if this is if this has the boo yet on it. I think it does. Also, I think oh no, this video's got oh okay. <laughs> that started me for a second. This video is being uploaded the same day on the 23rd of June 2024. I think this week we're getting like breakers news, aren't we? Hopefully it's baby Vegeta. Is it boo yeah? Do we have the boo yeah? Of course we do. In the comments, boo yeah on standby. B double O. Did I scare you? Y A H. Put it in the comments, you'll know exactly when to post it. Oh, yes. Excuse you? No, it's personal. That was a really cool fight, dude. That was, shout out to this guy. Again, someone who isn't a trash talker. Not now, cue him messaging me trash talking. Not a trash talker and actually quite fantastic at the game. What a fun fight. Genuinely really fun. And the reason why the Revenge Death Ball charged up faster was because it charges up faster when you have flashing red health. With that said, before we cue, you know, continue to wrap up the video to use the uh, build, prepare the Destroyer build for just the one time. Impossible! <laughs> <laughs> 
I forget if Final Rampage can warp. No, it doesn't. And that was a waste of, what, six, five, six bars of key? Oh, well. <laughs> Okay, so a couple of fights left, unless he leaves. Um, I, I am trying against him, of course, right? But for the next couple of fights, next one, two, three fights, I think there's no more than three. Again, unless he leaves. I do want to try and go sweaty on him, so let's try and do that now. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and now cue me getting destroyed in the next fight. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go! 
It's impossible! Perfect ending. Massive GG to that guy. Let me know in the comments, should I fight him again or add him or whatever? Because that's actually really fun. Thank you all for watching. More videos on the screen right now. And I will see you on one of these videos in just a moment.